Hello dear students and welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about all the main ideas I will cover in week 12 for the pre-calculus course. In this week, we will start with a new topic, which is limits and derivatives. We will start by giving the definition of the limit and talking about the main difference between finding a limit and finding the image of a point for different functions. After that, we will introduce the rule that we will use in order to check if the limit exists at a certain point or not. After that, we will start covering finding the limits using different techniques, starting with graphs. In order to find the limit from the graph, we have to check the right hand side and the left hand side of the function at that point. If the limit from the right hand side is equal to the limit from the left hand side, we say that the limit exists and it's equal to that value. Otherwise, the limit does not exist. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, we will cover too many functions and too many graphs. We will see when does the function have a limit and does not have a value for that x. f of x does not exist, but the limit exists. Also, we will see some questions that f of x exists, but the limit does not exist. Then we will move to the properties of the limits. We will see that the limit can be distributed when we have addition or subtraction between the function. We will know how to simplify and find the limit for different functions without using the graphs. And we will use different techniques. The first thing that we do when we want to find the limit for a function is to substitute that value. If we have an answer, answer that belongs to R, then the limit equals to that value. If we have an answer that's in the form of 1 over 0 or 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, we will leave these questions because we will use different techniques to find the limits as these values. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in the class tomorrow.